years ago I did an interview with Chris uh, on the balcony here and this is an update. Hi Chris. Hi Tim. How are you? Good. I can't even remember the interview. No, I'll play it to you later. Yeah. Yeah, so you don't tell lies. Okay. <laughs> I never lie me. <laughs> so this place is called Living with MS in Tenerife. And we just thought that uh, lately we haven't been talking a lot about MS or Tenerife really, have we? No. So um, at the, what, what's, give us an update on, uh, on how you're feeling. I'm feeling quite all right, but I, if I look back a couple of years ago, I was a lot better. Because my eyesight is has gone worse, and I'm more tired these days, which doesn't bug me. It doesn't bug you. <laughs> <laughs> so, for those people just joining us uh, on the channel, maybe they haven't seen any of the past videos yet. Um, when did it all start for you? Getting worse. No, I mean right at the beginning. When did you when did you sort of know that you sort of had MS? Ah, uh, they told me just after Stephanie was born. So in ninety one. They told me there's a chance that I have MS, but. But it wasn't confirmed until we came back well, from America, right? That's right. And I denied it at first. That's always the steps first. Did I than being angry about it and then coping with it basically. And does there come a time when there's acceptance? Yeah. Yeah. And is it does do you feel better after accepting the fact you've got it or Of course. Yeah. When you stop fighting against it it's much easier. And all the cures and and medication and doctors is that is that worth it going through all that? No, it's not worth it at all. No, because I found out here in Tenerife, the old this doctor he said, whatever you do, it always comes through the same end. So basically, all the remedies that you take will yeah. just manage the. The fluctuation, yeah. but at the end you'll you'll be at the same position in the same amount of time. Because they even gave me kind of a chemotherapy, uh -huh. and I won't do that nowadays. No, no I did nothing. I got a lot of cortisone every three months. I had a three-day cortisone in injection. Uh, infusion, uh, maybe. Infusion, yeah, I was on the trip. That meant I couldn't sleep for three days. In the beginning, I felt a bit better, but that disappeared soon. And maybe it was just mental. Psychosomatic. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> but you are mental, aren't you, really? I am yeah. mental. Yeah. Um, so, when we decided to come here, your thought process was you didn't want to be in the winter anymore, right? Right. Why was that? Because it's cold, and when I'm cold, I'm getting more like stiff and I get really pale skin and little what the piggy spots. Little spots. Pimples. Pimples. There you go. Say that again, pimples. Pimples. <laughs> <laughs> and if you look shit, you feel shit. <laughs> That's true. So, uh, it, when I ask how you're feeling, what do you always say? SSDD. SSDD. What does it mean? Same shit, different day. But you look happy. Why is that? Yeah, because I do what I want. 
That's good. And if it don't want to do it, then don't. That's good too. I think that might be a lesson for everybody really, isn't it? Yeah. Don't do what you don't want. So coming to Tenerife, yeah, when you first came, your eyes were better, right? Yeah. So you did see a little bit of the island and some of the sights. I saw a lot. Mm -hmm. And that's good, because now I can remember it and be driving around and can't see anything. So you don't enjoy driving around or visiting places, no? No, not at all. So what is your, I mean, we go out to meet up Mondays to meet people. Yeah. Is that that's okay? That's nice. Yeah. That's nice. Is that because it's just close by and you're home very quickly? Yeah. But I also like to sit by the sea. Because of course I can't see it very well anymore, but I can hear it and smell it. And do you get to sit by the sea as often as you want? Um, sometimes I should push myself and tell him, take me to the sea, but I'm just lazy sometimes. So you, we've got a little flat here yeah. with a wraparound balcony. Yeah. And it's quite quiet in the village. What do you do all day? I sleep very long and then I go to the bathroom, brush teeth and things, I have a little shower and then we have breakfast. What time is that around Which about? is nice, around about 12, one-ish. And fruits mainly and muesli or a slice of bread. And yeah, then I go to my cecil, to my reclining chair. Reclining chair, LC on. And listen to a bit to the radio and go my bike and stuff. You ride a bike? It's a training bike. Oh, it doesn't go anywhere? No. Oh, it's a shame. I could have filmed that. Well, it have been viral. That would be fun, yeah. <laughs> would give you a lot of money. <laughs> Do you need a lot of money? No. We're quite happy the way we are? Yeah. Because sometimes when my birthday is coming up, my family asked me, what do you want? I don't need anything. Just my books. So do you my read books? Audio books. Audio books. Audio books, audio books mm -hmm. yeah. How many of those do you read? Maybe two a month. Uh-huh. Three a month sometimes. And what type of audio books do you prefer? It's like criminal stories. Uh-huh. But the Scandinavian ones mm -hmm. and stories about at the moment I'm reading about a family who's moving to Alaska because the husband came back from the war and he's having problems and he wants to leave it all behind and go to Alaska. A bit like us, actually, isn't it? Yeah, Leaving but... Leaving everything behind and coming here. But Alaska is a bit colder. <laughs> a little bit, I think, a little bit. And there are elks and bears and wolves. Oh, my. <laughs> that was Lions a reference. and tigers yes. and bears, oh, my. <laughs> That's a reference to The Wizard of Oz, for those of you uh, following on with alacrity. So, um, going out, when you go out, we started doing the channel to go out and show people how good the wheelchair yeah. was, but that's too hard for you now, is it? It is, yeah. Of course, uh, since I can't see very well anymore, I hate to eat out. Do you miss your mouth, do you? Because I can't get the things from the plate and 
I just triple all over me. So how do you manage at home then? Oh, I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> don't care how I look. <laughs> and um, so if you could give anybody who's maybe in, in a country with cold winters, uh, any advice? Do you think it's a good thing to come here? It's a good thing, but at first it is a bit hard to get used to the rules of the new country. Well, that's true with anything though, isn't it? Yeah, but if you get a husband like you are, uh -huh. you don't have to care about anything. You just go with the flow and I take yeah. care of everything, do I? <laughs> and what about learning the language? I know you learned English. Uh, at, was it at school? At school, yeah. yeah. And then I had lots of English pen friends. Uh -huh. And I kept it active. Uh huh. Till you met me. Yeah. And then what happened? I talked English to you at first. Uh huh. And then we decided that it was time for you to learn German. That's true. So I taught German to, to you. Uh -huh. And when Stephanie was born, what language did you speak to her? German. And I spoke English all the time, so she spoke... Yeah, but she didn't see you so much. No, because I was working too hard. So she only really learned English in America. Uh -huh. Cool. And in Germany, she made fun of you. She did, for buying for my German, yeah? Yeah. We were in Ibiza, yeah? In Ibiza, we yeah. We needed Munson. Munson! <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, coming to Spain, uh, did you want? Did you start learning Spanish before you came? Yeah. I did it at home on the computer. Uh-huh. That was a that was a program that we that we downloaded. We don't use yeah. that anymore, do we? The brainscape. The brainscape, no. But it's good for vocabulary. But you listen to a book. Which book are you listening to for learning Spanish? Audio book. Long and Chides, Spanish, and there's momentos especiales. Okay, so you can the, listen to stories in Spanish. So the Long and Chide is basically a German Spanish course. Dictionary. Yeah. Not the real course. So they just do translations and stuff. Yeah. And the Momentos Especiales, that's that's totally Spanish, right? That's just yeah. simple stories in Spanish. That's great. Okay. And now we're using, or we've been using for the past three or four years, I think now, Spanish with Paul. Yeah. And how do you, how do you like that? I like that a lot. But it is an English to Spanish translation course, yeah. right? So you need to know a reasonable amount of English, do you? That's right, yeah. Mm -hmm. And the sentence he teaches you are too long sometimes. Because mm -hmm. even German they always talk in short sentences. So and I would never need them. You wouldn't need the long sentences. I just need the basics. Like feed me. Clothe Keep me. me, leave me alone. <laughs> <laughs> they have me in pass. <laughs> there you go, leave me alone. On that note, Mrs. Dowd, oh, there's a nice little bee. The bees are coming back. Don't know if you, don't know if you saw that, but uh, the little bee came past. So, Mrs. Dowd, is there anything else you want to say? Any advice you want to give? Any, but anything to any of our uh, friend, friends online? Don't really give advice because I'm far away from the normal life. So, so maybe your life is uh, is a better way. So, what what keeps you happy during the day? During the day, just relaxing. Uh huh. Lying in my chair, listening to books. Because I believe you're very, very active in the night, right? Oh, yeah. What do you do in the night? Typically? I met my great aunt last night. She's been dead for years. But we had coffee together. That was quite nice. Cool. And do you have any dreams that uh, 
that help you? Or do you wake up in the morning disappointed that they're not real? I'm not disappointed, I'm just a bit not so happy at the first moment that a hard day is going to start because in the dreams everything's so easy. Cool. So basically it's living with MS in Tenerife or living with a mess in Tenerife? Both. <laughs> and who's the mess? <laughs> I don't know who she's pointing out there, ladies and gentlemen. Christina, thanks for talking to us. You're very welcome. And we'll see you on the next one. Bye. Keep, keep cool. Bye. <laughs>